That's the biggest shot I've taken all night. Are we recording right now? We, it's all, it's, it's all, all there. <laughs> we keep it all, we keep it all in there. That's amazing. I like that. Before uh, we start part two, um, I got a little something for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, it ain't about me. You know, it ain't all here. about no me. Way. You know what I'm saying? So I got the guys some gifts. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out um, of here. These wow. right here. There's the first. There's uh, all class. DDI, DDI. Uh, Exclusives right here, baby. The never exclu- been done before. Exclusive. I don't even have one of these, honestly. I only made two here. for my boys. Wow, dude. One for my man's Jared. Got Show that. Show dude, that let me see this thing, right? dude. I am, folks. And it's got the DDI in the back. Oh, oh, dude, get that's here. that's beautiful. That boy, that's beautiful. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm gonna go put it on. I'll be back. <laughs> Let's go. Let's one go. For my man's Dom right God, here. I man. hope you guys are large, man. Dude, listen. All right. I'll be a large whenever. Listen, let's get the front. I'm Those a, are exclusives I'm, I'm right there, man. The right hit me hit me up if 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 if, if y'all want some t-shirts, man. I got Bruh. them for the low, right? Listen, man. All right, boys. Part 2 of episode 37 of the with the within range podcast. Some of those tequila shots are getting to your boy already. We got Doozy up in the building, ear guy, Jared Suter. All right, Doozy, I think it's only right that we start with a song that I would just say, I guess I I came, when I was doing, you know, learned about you a little yeah. a bit while back, this was the first one I came across, okay. and I knew I had to bring it up first. The within range genesis yeah, of, okay. of our in Doozy introduction. This is the one Dom was like, we got something. I got to show you something. All right, bet. I got the te- the text. <laughs> yeah. He had the bat phone, not the no- not the business line. You know, it was uh, different. Yeah. It was different. It was different. Um, the video's crazy. The vibes look immaculate in the video. It looked like you and the boys had a good time filming this one. I'm talking about lurking, lurking. Uh, BPBS, yep. Hippie Brown Matt, Matt Doozy. You rocking the Bad Habits shirt. Oh, yeah. Shout out, Nav. Shout out, Nav. That's one of my favorite rappers out right now. No cap. Bro, I, so I just want to talk about it because it was like the song is a bang. Um, it looked like you guys were having a blast. 2.8K views last Shit. time I checked. Um, that's it, underrated. I that's, know. that's underrated, dude. Oh, we know. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Undervalued. views. But it's cool. And then I just I just want to say too, like uh you you got a line in there that Jared and I still still rap to this day. She can give me head like a psychic. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> All freestyle too, bro. I ain't be writing none of my bars half the time. I don't even remember the bars. That you guys are gonna bring up some bars, maybe. I'm probably not even gonna remember. Wait, you half you Jay Z it? Or you, you, <laughs> I just yeah. literally know. I, I don't freestyle the whole thing, but I'll, it, it punches. You know you what I'm saying? Kind of black it, it, out. It, in it's there. like it's like writing. You know what I'm saying? But you're like instead of putting it on the paper, you're putting it straight up on the track. You know what I'm saying? Like That's you like think futuresque. of the like, yeah. You know? It's on a stream of consciousness, and then you piece it together yep. later. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Bro, I love that. Dude, that video that video goes so hard. It looks like you're in. Where'd you shoot that? Like mainly because it looks like you're in. So it looks like you're in an office Let's building. Go. It looks like you're Let's in like go. a. I'll, it looks like, for, I'll tell yo. you this. I've been in a few office buildings. It looks like you're in the lobby of like a, a elevator area of like we're, a nice we're, big we're office in a, building. We're in this lobby of this real expensive little business area. You know what I'm like saying? Chase Tower we, we, downtown. We literally <laughs> it, it, out here in Paradise. Uh, what is it? Paradise Valley out here? Yeah, 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 right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, Paradise Valley. Yeah. We were at a um, PV. We yeah. were, yeah, We that's where I had yeah. the, the studio. Remember I told you I had a studio out here? Yeah. We had a little underground studio with the elevator and everything. You see the elevator in the music video. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, oh, it was yeah. a nice-ass studio, bro. He said, I think he um, said it was like Greenway. Hey, they, don't, they don't got bad studios. Yeah, it was, it was, Bell and 32nd yeah, no, or oh, Greenway Bell? and 32nd? It was, it was 30, it was Thunder, you get off on Thunder, Thunderbird and then... Damn, I don't really remember exactly. You know, I live in the square, world, right? You know, that's where I live. You know where that is? <laughs> nah, I don't. Thirty like second Greenway over there. Uh, not that far. Is it on the yeah, side that's of the fifty one? Yeah, I'm on the on the west side of the fifty one. Okay, like thirty second and Greenway, basically. Okay, I think. Yeah. That, and what Thunderbirds there's, after that? Yeah, Thunderbirds down there. Yeah, okay, exactly. Yeah, there's like original I'm, breakfast I'm, I'm house. I'm original breakfast house down there. Alice Cooper's. Yeah, like I don't see. I'm not really tapped in with 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 Paradise Valley out here. You know what I'm saying? So you got to put me on. But yeah, it's all good. Um, it was a cool little studio right there, man. One of the one of the coolest studios that I had. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't like the weed smoking and so many people coming in and out. Sounds like Paradise. I get busy, bro. I get busy. You know what I'm saying? And and, and motherfuckers start seeing a lot of people coming through. A lot of motherfuckers look like gangsters and shit. A lot of motherfuckers are gangsters and shit. A lot of motherfuckers. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Got their guns out. We're in the Wild West, baby. We're in Arizona. Everybody got their guns out. Everybody doing this and that. Everybody want to smoke. You know what I'm saying? they wouldn't let me smoke in there. I let them smoke outside. That's what they told me. And even after that, they 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 
booted me. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna go back over there. I'm gonna, I still got the key. I still got everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go shoot a badass music video in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're gonna do the most in no, the lobby no, when yeah. nobody's. It, it don't matter if they see us on the cameras. Nothing. I didn't. Fuck it's it. Too, I'm already. I'm you're out. Out, you know. You're not destroying anything. No, you're I'm, just not, using I'm not. I'm not. Just, yeah, there was just like, numerous just asses shaking. Bunch of was... ass and fucking money getting thrown. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's <laughs> not to love? Le- more. Uh, what is it? Leotard unitards per capita in that room than anywhere. Jaguar. Jaguar club. You know what I'm saying? No cap, baby. It's the real deal, baby. Exclusive. The density of leotards in that room. That's crazy. The it was density. a good ass little night, man. You know looking saying? at a numbers. I'm looking at a density like, like per capita. You know what I mean? It's like there's the GDP and then you want the per capita. You want to know how much they're making per person. There's more thongs per person. Yeah, yeah. The, the ratio. The ratio was. Because was, hey, the there's a ratio of females to males. Then there's oh. specifically the thong to You got to have more females. It's a drill males, down baby. in the visual. Like Facts. if you're going in there. Oh, oh shit. Man. Yeah, I was gonna say like, you could just tell it was like it was like a nice was, lobby. It was fun, man. It was fun having nice. Having you lobby. desecrated everybody. It. I mean, just absolutely. Went someone, crazy. someone was probably looking for a mortgage in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the funny part about it, dude. Like they went in there in their best best too. They went in there dressed up like, oh man, I think I'm really gonna get this loan too. Right. <laughs> Less than eight out six hours prior, dude. Just fucking oh, the densest leotard population. <laughs> <laughs> I love that video. It's it's um, great. Dude. Hey, I appreciate you guys. I didn't think that was gonna be a video I was no, gonna video. bring oh, up. That's man. what's up. That man. was the first dude, one we happened to. I don't know how cool. or why YouTube. Put it across my that's shit. But it was I mean, well, I'm talking about the leotards. The boys came correct in that video yep, too. Dude. Yep, everybody, everybody did their everybody thing. You did, did your thing, thing in yep, that. Hippie Matt did his facts. thing. The other guys did their yep. thing. Dude, Shout out to Brown like, in the Pipe parking babies. garage. Dude. Yeah, we were in the parking garage. You took over that everywhere. entire like the whole just little corporate complex. Square area <laughs> right there, bro. As someone that works in office job, like I, I'm lucky enough to work from home now, but I've been in so many offices and like. I can just picture like, oh, hey, how you doing, yeah, Sharon? Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what it and was. And little did they know, dude. There was yeah, just... Mr. Doozy does it with the whole dude. entourage. <laughs> by the, but, hey, we could have made him different famous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, you know what I'm saying? Doozy does it, and if you have to ha- have to ask what it is, you know you gotta, you know what I mean. Wow, <laughs> oh, that's amazing, dude. Nice. Yeah, some viral within range content. We go in there and we just like low key, like we bring like a like a hand drill. In a little plaque, and yeah, we just yeah, like just, just <laughs> somewhere in there, it just says, "You don't know this, but this video is yeah, GDI yeah, Productions." Yeah, DDI was on, on this DDI day, DDI Productions took was this here. Over. Yeah. yeah, we took over on this date. People need to know. So maybe yeah. on the bathroom stall, we'll start there. Dude. I love that. <laughs> Shoot, man, just the, the juxtaposition of it, dude. Yeah. You know, you're in an office building going crazy. Yeah, hey, that was one of the funniest videos we've done, bro. It was real cool. And the song is great, man. Hey, and the, the song was cool, man. The song was cool. I, they did, I wasn't gonna get on the song, you know what I'm saying? But they're like, "Come on, dude, give me a verse, give me a verse." I'm like, "All right, bet." She can give me head like, like a psychic. Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying? Man. Jared, Shit. hit him, hit him with something, bro. Hit, hit him with something. You want me to just hit you with something right hit now? All something. right, let's go. Let's go with Jeter. Let me go into Jeter. I love Jeter. it because they call him the captain. I have to assume that was somewhere involved in there. Oh, I didn't think about that. They call him the captain. That's what you are. So it's an aptly named song, and you're talking your shit on that one. Yeah. You got a few good bars on there. The the two I needed to highlight, I had to highlight, was you bugging dog, and I think what was it you a cockroach at best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you, you bugging, bugging you're a cockroach, 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 cockroach at best. best. Yeah, hey, you're bugging dog, but hey, you're a cockroach at best. You bugging <laughs> that's so what, much. That's man. what's important. See, again, that's why we like to break the lyrics down because you can call someone like, hey, you're like you're a bug, you're this or that, yeah, and yeah. that's insulting. But then you have to realize there's a hierarchy yeah, yeah, within yeah, the bugs. Yeah. You're not some beautiful be- You're not a butterfly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're hey, not mariposa. Bug, yeah, exactly. Okay? Not you're, not you're not mariposa. You're not mariposa. Okay, you're not that. You're the fucking cockroach, dude. Back, so hey. I love that. And then, dude, the way Dom and I talk about this all the time, one of the things I love in like in hip hop doesn't mean it's like the only thing I love, but I love like when a rapper's just doing something casually or and it seems like it's effortless or when they're almost annoyed, they got to tell you about it. Yeah, like they're yeah, talking yeah, their yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's like someone came in talking something, and you're like, you're like, God damn, I really, I really have to set this person yeah, straight. Yeah, you're talking right. your shit there, dude. Come on, dog. You're a cockroach at best. Man. Yeah, dude, but yeah. You, so you, so you say that this line like that, dude. You go, you got, you get told what to do. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> so like, that's weird. Bro, yeah, that yeah. is weird. Bro, bro, that is weird. <laughs> you said it was such, it's like it was foreign to you. Like you were just like, that's dude, so weird, you go to bro. work hey, and you, you get told what to do. That's, that's weird, weird, bro. Dude. I know, you know what I'm saying? Shit, dude. for real, man. I'm just speaking the truth, you know. That, that's how I feel, you because know, I feel it's weird somebody telling me what to do, bro. Like, what the bro, fuck? Like, come on. I I mean, you know, the, that's when the ego comes into play, you know what I'm saying? Where you're just like, oh, you're not better than me, bro, you know what I'm saying? But, bro, like, come on, man. Like, I know who the fuck I am, you know what I'm saying? So, you ain't going to tell me, nah. the, you know? But you didn't, but the, what's important, dude, is you didn't do that from the jump. 
Facts. You were like, like you said, you you were like, oh, this small studio, and you worked there for two years, putting in your time, yep. they, and you were like, and and you said like. You were willing to clean the board, and then you didn't yeah, even yeah. get the job. Like you ate your shit sandwiches. Facts, that's facts. that's yeah. what's important there. Before you get to that point yeah. where you're like, no, I'm gonna do my thing, dude. Facts, <laughs> facts, wow. bro. It's sick, man. Yeah, I love. That's 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 the thing. They're stepping stones. Yeah, you gotta do. You the can't dirt, make you know? Jay Z moves when you're starting out. Dude. Facts, you know. So you gotta go through. <laughs> yeah, all those I like can't that. do it. I you like can't make Jay Z moves when you're coming up. Getting there. Well, Jared, you mentioned it, so let's. You wanna go into Mariposa? Dude, Mariposa, let's, let's do it, dude. I love that one, dude. That's my latest drop, I think. It is. Yeah. It yeah. is your latest drop from what we saw. That one was different. You yeah. were in your bag. And then, bro, when you switched it up and went Espanol, yeah. I wasn't ready for it. I'm glad. That's the whole point. Yeah. And it was, it was fantastic. Hit you out of nowhere, left field yep. with the Spanish. Yep. Who even knew I sp- spoke it like that fluently and then singing it? You well, because listen, because I've, I've listened to your catalog and I'm like, you don't speak a whole lot of Espanol. Right, I don't. On that one, you did. Yeah. Talk and, to us about and, and I think I want to start doing that more. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it was... Because it's a whole uh, eye-opener for that culture, the Spanish culture. You know, just not even just Mexicans, but uh, Latinos. Yeah, just Latin. You know what Latin I'm saying? Culture. Yes, yeah. exactly, bro. That's a whole... That's a big language, dude. <laughs> a huge... Like, I think more people speak Spanish in the world than English, right? Yeah. Like, come on, man. And, and in America, it. we don't really think like that, you know? Because all we do, we speak English. All, and the center then, of the and, universe. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like, what <laughs> yeah, the fuck, right? But damn, bro, there's a whole nother fucking world out there that just speaks Spanish. They speak other languages too, of course, right? But that Spanish, bro, that shit, a lot of people fuck with that, bro. So um, for a lot of years, I always focus on doing... English music, you know, hip hop and English and stuff, you know, just because that's what the culture is out here, you know? Mm-hmm. You never really hear too much Spanish out here, you know? But then I started seeing people like Bad Bunny coming up and doing their stuff in the Spanish, and that shit goes worldwide bigger than Drake. And I'm like, that's not the reason why I did that, you know? The real reason was my mom's. My mom was always telling me, boy, if you do that, Spanish, this rap shit is cool because she doesn't understand it, you know? Okay. She said, this rap shit is cool, whatever, whatever, but if you do that Spanish, baby boy, I'm telling you, you will blow up, baby boy. And I never, uh, you know, we listen like to that. our moms, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we brush don't it fully, off. we're just like, oh, yeah, mom, what do you know, mom? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but mom knows everything, bro. Mom mm-hmm. knows everything, dog. Your mama knows everything. Whoever raised you, whoever your guardian is, they know it, man, because they're older. But with time, time teaches you more than me just learning shit in school and off the streets yes, or whatever. Yeah. Time is going to teach. The time is the real lesson. You know and what I'm it's saying? Cyclical. Because Facts. every because time is the lesson for everyone and it's almost like it resets yep, every yep, so often. Yep. Facts. And what that gives it is your mom was young once. Yes. And it's not as different. Yeah. The, the feelings talk. are the yeah. same. Facts. The medium you express it through, whether it's social media on your phone, certainly. Mm-hmm. And there's pros and cons to that. We could talk about that till the cats come. But at the end of the day, your mom was young and she yes. knows that's that's why that advice yep, works. Exactly. Dude, 100%. So shout out my mom for always motivating me to do everything that I can and to make Spanish music too. Cause that's the lane that I'm going through. I got a few songs in the arsenal. That that song right there is honestly like two, three years old. It's wow. from 2018. And it's your newest track? It, it's 2018. Yeah, and it's the newest track for you guys. I didn't like the mix. I didn't like anything on it. I, I mean, I like what I did on it, but I didn't like the mix on it. You know what I'm saying? The technicality of it because that's I didn't have... having the I, ear. Yeah, I didn't have the original. You know that, Drew. Yeah, that's the problem with having the ear because you know, like, oh, this isn't good enough. You know what I'm saying? But you still got to put it out there and the average listener is going to be like, oh, this is dope. this is good. You mm. know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Whatever the opinion is going to be, but it's going to put out there and they're going to listen to it no matter what, as long as it's listenable to you. know, Because yeah. I didn't have the original session for that song or anything, so. I just had to go in there and manipulate the frequencies. I was with just the about tracks, to say, you know? dude, I was like, that's what Drew's, Drew's had me on there. And like, Drew will hear something. And I know in his brain, I can already picture it, dude. He's like, man, this this part of the frequency is just a little off, yeah, dude. It's too hard and for it's like, too And it's muddy. fun. What's crazy about it is people might be like, oh, that that doesn't matter. This or that or that's too. But the thing is, your brain recognizes exactly. it, whether it knows it right. or not. Right. Yeah. It's and, just science. And yeah, then above that, science. there's someone else above that in record labels. And, and, and the major companies out there that are like 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 Empire, they're listening for that because they got the professional ears in there, and they're like, "Hey, man, you gotta turn this up. You gotta do... so you gotta be ready for that, you know, so that when you do get that call or you do get that email or message like, "Hey, Empire wants to work a distribution mm-hmm. deal with you, or somebody wants to work some sort of distribution deal," because I ain't trying to sign no motherfucking deal with nobody, no three sixty, fuck all that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I, I'm independent. You don't need that anymore. I, I, I'll go ahead and do a partnership with someone. You know what I'm saying? A distribution deal with someone. Yeah, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? We got a good catalog and we're building more. You know what I'm saying? All the I time. Th- you know? Oh yeah. I think what people so like got to be ready. There's a mafia element to it from what we've seen at this point with those record things, but it, but 
it made sense when there was a physical, there was a manufacturing element to putting yeah. your music out. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. you had to, if you had to run a music production, like producing CDs or mm-hmm. vinyl, that's that's a whole nother business, yeah. right? Like right. that's a production thing. You have industrial engineers that would do that. That makes sense because then you need the th- two things right. to come together. What we get with technology now is like- We don't need that. It's, it's, mm-hmm. yeah. They're still carrying over that power, right. but it's right. really just a name only F- to an extent. Exactly. And then yeah. the mafioso kind of element. Yeah. Of yeah. They, <laughs> make they, a, they make a call yeah. and they're yep. like, so-and-so, don't let them on. Yep. I mean, that happens. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's a yeah. fact. Yeah. It's that's a fact. Blackballing, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers do it all the time in the industry. You know, a lot of I know a lot of motherfuckers that I work with too that are blackballed in the industry, and I feel like, damn, like they don't deserve that. You know, because I know them as people. You Is know it, what I'm saying? I know, I know the the human side of them, not just the artist. Of, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they deserve it. You know, like. I was and just gonna. I, ask, I was gonna ask: Is Billy Bapper one of those artists? <laughs> Billy Bapper is the one motherfucker that I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers blackballed. I feel like I don't know anything about that shit though. You know what I'm saying? I keep my, you know, my hands clean. I I ain't got nothing to do. You're with You're just talking that, you know as an saying? outside observer. Well, I, as we an do outside that. observer, you know, just... I can see that. You know, I can see that because motherfucker has good ass fucking music. You know, and I know him. As We've been one, keeping you know up saying? with Billy Bapper. He be working. He be going because no, of you. He be time, working doozy. hard, bro. He be working hard, bro. That boy. That that work ethic that he has, bro, and, and he's a leader too. You know what I'm saying? So shout out my man's Biddy Bat, bro. You know what I'm saying? We I, would love I, to have him know, on the pod. We gon' sh- y'all gonna have him for sure, man. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna yeah. let him know for sure, man. But shout out my man's Biddy Bat for real and the whole EG for L. You know? Let's go. Yeah, I'm curious to hear just because you say this word just spurs a thought for me, and because you're one yourself, what is a leader to you? What does that look like? What's like Damn. people look, hear look, that look, term? Look, 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 people look, look. think it's barking orders. A leader to me is someone that recognizes other people for what they are and, and is able to put them in the positions if they can't put themselves in the in the positions that they that they can be in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I tell a lot of my guys, bro, y'all could all be engineers and just drop your day jobs and shit. You know, like all my guys that work with me at the studio that as artists and shit. I'm like, bro, I could teach you guys this, you know, and mm-hmm. and I could teach you the best shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and y'all can mm-hmm. make a living off this. So so. Well, it's a shortcut. You work. paid the dues. You made the mistakes. You yep, bought. Yep, you yep. bought the sound that, packs that don't mm-hmm, work. Yep. You bought the trainings that yep, don't work. Yep. Did all the mistakes that didn't work, and now I could teach them what not to do. Now Forgot they could be to save eight hundred times. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> and they don't gotta owe me nothing. Yeah, nothing yeah. Yeah. but the loyalty. You know what I'm saying? But that just comes hand in hand with being good with everybody. You know, like that, that's my main thing as an audio engineer is I gotta make sure I treat everyone genuinely, like how you how you treated me when I came into this place right now, bro. Into your into your into your studio into your into your space, you know, yeah, you, you, yeah. you brought me in here. Hey, you want some water? You want this and that? Boom! That's how I like to treat people. So I know y'all are good people like that. You Thank know what you. I'm saying? And people and good people recognize good people. For you know sure, what I'm saying? A million percent. And, and, and you feel it. And man, I feel it's like it's electric that, when you get yeah. there, right? You get excited because you don't <laughs> exactly. meet. It's funny because you don't meet it as often as you would think, yeah, right? Yeah. Even people no. that are doing the same thing as you, yeah, you're yeah. like, wait a second, you're yeah, not, yeah. So, sometimes they're not. They're I didn't even not, know there yeah. was a single A, double A, triple A yeah, here, yeah, but yeah. we're we're. I found out we're playing different games. Yeah, yeah, facts, yeah I get that, bro. Dude. It's yeah. electric when you get around like someone with the same work ethic, same view. Well, one of the things I, I was telling Doozy when he walked in, I was like, even though we've never physically met you in person, like just from the distance and just from like your hustle and what we know about you, meeting Reggie, pretty guys like that, like we knew what your presence was like and what you know the type of guy you were. Thank you, bro. I appreciate outside, that. So. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's. The best thing is that it's something easy. Mm-hmm. You know, I can just be myself. Yeah, exactly. This is just me, the best me. I, that's why I try to be the best me every day. That's why I tell people all, all the time on the gram or wherever I do the socializing with the media and shit. Like, be the best you you can be. No yeah. cap. Even if it sounds corny, motherfuckers don't like that shit. Motherfuckers are too prideful to say some... some they think it's corny. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. motherfucker, I'm being real. What the no, fuck? That's the, <laughs> yeah, that ain't yeah. no corny shit. That's the realest shit a motherfucker <laughs> could tell you. You know what I'm saying? Go yeah. do good in your, in your fucking life, yo. Yeah. Go perfect, do good. Dude. What the fuck? That's dude, crazy, I, bro. I, I love that, dude. So I was telling Dom even earlier, and, and my girl makes fun of me sometimes. I've always got YouTube on. Yeah. And it's not always music. Half, Honestly, most of the time I'm listening, not like the the mashup inspirational speeches that are a little cheesier, but like right. I, I got my guys that I just like listen to yeah, their shows, yeah, yeah. their podcasts, and they motivate me. And I, I was telling her one day, it's like almost a similar thing. I was like, I said, I, I need that shit. I need the positive <laughs> mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yeah bro, just I'm keep sitting it there at my desk working sometimes, yep. and I'm like, bro, I need, I need, yep. I need motivational speeches. I need into my mentality. Because you become dude. that. You know what I'm saying? You, you become do. what you put into your body. Yeah, you know, you become, if you do. put motivation into your body, you're gonna be motivation to 100%. everybody else out there that's looking at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so be motivational, yo. Don't be yeah. fucking. Don't be too proud to be better than fucking or yourself. Weird. Don't be don't weird. Don't be weird, bro. 
quit being weird, bro. Come on. <laughs> it quit being weird. It's crazy because what you're basically saying is like it's people think that there's like this this archetype of like a leader. Mm-hmm. And it's this alpha male, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and and believe me, that helps. Yeah, it does. It definitely. If helps. you're six foot four, buff, and you got a bunch of money, yeah, yeah. like you've clearly got a few things going right. Yeah, Some yeah. of it was genetics, but you're obviously <laughs> working right. Like, yeah, and yeah. people see that, so obviously that helps you. But what you're saying too is like you can still be yourself, and being a leader is just having the strength to speak up and the authority and the the, the having the credibility with people to sway them enough to be like, hey, you should do this. Yeah, and like you can a, do this, bro. A, you know the structure that they that 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 needs to get met to right. succeed, yes. and then you can actually put the pieces there, and you're not just putting pieces that you bought like in their copy and Facts. pasting. You're like that one can be molded into that. I'm yeah, buying yeah. low, and I'm gonna sell high on that right, person. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. That doesn't not to commoditize a human being, right. but I'm just saying like, but meant like that's usually like I see something in you. Let's pull you up. Yep, I can pull yep, you to yep, my yep, level, yep. and then maybe we grow together. And yeah, like, that Facts. seems like what you do. Or even if you go ahead and do your own thing. Go ahead. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just gonna remember feel, me. I'm not gonna feel no that. type of way, bro. Like yeah. I'm not gonna feel no type of We're way. All if, you, if I help you elevate to a certain level, you know what I'm saying? Or we help elevate each other to a level, and then you want to go ahead and do your own thing. Go do your own thing. More power yeah. to you. I yeah. believe in you. There's a lot of motherfuckers that will hold you down. Yeah. Oh no, nah, bro, you can't do it by yourself, man. Oh no, <laughs> you, because they're scared you're gonna leave. It's fear. There's only two things in this world, yo. Listen up. Two things in this world that lead this world. That's fear. And, and the second thing, love. that's love, baby. Hey. It's the only two things that fear is love, good. Evil. God, the devil. It's all the same shit. It's all metaphors. You know what I'm saying? You really believe there's someone out there? Yeah, maybe someone up there, you know what I'm saying? But it's really more of an energy. Yes. Amen. It's an energy, spiritual, bro. It's spiritual, spiritual, not religious, you know? necessarily. Facts, exactly. Yeah. You I, don't got have that to I got that from a Bronx tale, dude. Sonny said, he's like, they either fear you, they either, they either love you. Hell yeah. It's one of the other. Right, exactly. True. Just right. a simple thing. Like, like for me, if, if you believe in good, then you believe in bad. And you, if you don't believe in good, if you, but you believe in bad, you believe in both. Yeah, yeah. you can't have, have to. No, you have to. You to find each other. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Like, that's what's cool. Yin and yang. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Back to the Jimmy, music. We're getting deep. Man. Where are we like, what, two songs in? Damn. Sorry, guys. I'm too deep. You know, no, no, this is listen, good. This is, next, no you know? apologies I'd rather necessary. I'd rather hit five songs deep in the episode For than sure. 20 surface level. 20, Facts. like, I like this one thing Yeah, about yeah, 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 yeah. This is what we want, man. Damn. All right. I think I know where we got to go next. Yeah, yeah. Take me there. Take us there. Let's go to Genesis. Oh, okay. Genesis. 444. 444. 444. Can we go there? Yeah, yeah let's take it. Okay, there. let's go there. Yeah. It's a big project. Yeah, it... Wait, that, way, ain't no the, yeah, that ain't no mixtape. Yeah, that ain't no mixtape. Ain't no EP. Little, little project. <laughs> it you know said album next to the. Oh, that's yeah, the EEP. It it that's what it said. <laughs> it's my. It, it was my first like actual project that I ever put out as an artist. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That I was so really album. proud of. Um, we've learned. I'm just, I I'm just going by what it is. As a casual, y'all could call it whatever you when want. I, when I looked you know it up, that's what I'm saying. It's out there. It's for y'all to, to judge and for y'all to like or hate, whatever. Oh, I just want to say her, this. Man. I'm going to say this. As a casual observer, yeah. something that I've noticed talking to more artists is there really is. And I always knew there were mixtape EPs and, and yeah, albums, yeah. but like, Facts. there is a big sensitivity. Like, no, oh, there album. is. It's not an album. People we've had on the show, it's they're like, album. we've it's accidentally not, no, no, called no, no, it an EP. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's, it's, it's an album. Or album. vice versa. It, it's it's like, almost sometimes like. it's just a project. Yeah. I'm just like, okay, sorry. The way I look at it, I feel like they become an album when. um. To me, it always was, at least back in the day, it was if you you had an album out, it's because you got signed mm-hmm. or like a major distribution or something like that's an album because it's, I don't know, big or it's picked up by Sony or fucking Columbia or Def Jam or Def whatever, Jam. right? So yeah. it becomes a yeah. big, now that's the album. Now we're making to make an album. album back yeah, then now too. you got, that's yeah, yeah now, we can, now we can call anything an album. You could put a bunch of tracks together, you yeah. call it an album, you can call it a tape EP, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? But it's just a project, it's just. A that body, sense, a then. body of music. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that makes yeah. sense because for me, it is. It is part of it was. I think part of it was someone. If someone could e- scrape together the combination of money, time, and effort to get into a studio and get a song recorded back then, it yeah, was yeah. like a little bit more oh, yeah. impressive, and yeah, they could yeah. get signed off exactly. of one song. Exactly. Now you gotta like, now nah, okay, everyone can do that. You yeah, gotta show something doing else. It, yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. But you, yeah. so you're just tightening enough that everyone's tightening enough the definition of album now. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. We get it. That's yeah. fine. We get it. Makes so sense. Gotta keep the supply tight. If, <laughs> yeah. if the demand keeps going up. For real. I like that. Yeah, it's just yeah. business. It's just yeah, business. Real okay. Time. There used to be a more definitive, like quantifiable way of, you know, differentiating a mixtape between an album. Now it's become so blurred. Now it's just, it's almost like what I, whatever I feel like putting it out as that day, that's almost like some people take it as like a mixtape is less serious. It's just a collection of songs. There's no real like, 
point to make in this project and I just n- nothing's cleared you know I didn't uh do any paperwork with any producers I just put together this and then whatever happens to it it's not like it's it's just a mixtape so it doesn't really matter on sales albums are more based on proper paperwork proper business structures proper business business models and marketing and then it's like it's almost like a product so when you it's almost mixtape is like the free sample where you're just giving it out for free albums are more like I'm planning on making something back from that. There's some type of value you're putting to the world to get back from that. It's almost like you're calling your shot. It's like you're like you're a baller athlete. Like you put out mixtape, you put out singles, you put out stuff, you've shown what you can do, but then like the album's like, I'm I'm consciously putting my best foot forward on this right, piece. Exactly. Correct. You're this, trying your hardest. You know, it yeah. might take it might even take longer. Sometimes take people oh yeah. People take one to two years to make a whole album. I remember that's how it was back in the day. Like we'd we've get an album from, from you know <laughs> <laughs> we've seen that. We all went through that roller coaster. Hey, together. we never even <laughs> hey, we never got detox, you know, that for all of us from back in the day, you know what I'm saying? We never even yeah, got detox. Oh, look, we still look have that goes, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it goes it, there's a lot that goes and then even with just releasing music as an artist, bro, like there's always like an audible to go to. Like you have a whole plan and then, oh, this didn't go through. We got to switch it up. Now it's becoming this, mm, right? Mm. That um, that takes me to 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 something else that we're going to talk about later on. But go ahead. We can continue with, with the Genesis 444. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll give you a little background, whatever y'all need. I got hey. it for you. No cap, man. Well, what we like to do is just go into the tracks. And okay. on this one, there's a lot of notable tracks, in my opinion. Um, I'll start, Jerry. I have the album noted here, man. Yeah. So target we, Rich we Environment, got a lot of notes. Yeah. We, we, we could, I never even thought, it would I just be put, hard to draw shoot wait, miss. What, what are you gonna say? I, I never even thought about it being like that. I just put it out. You know, I had all this music that that I had together, and I'm like, you know what? Let me make something out of this just while I can because I don't really have time to make music. That's why you see my drops, and it's like very the longevity of like yes. between the tracks is like real long mm-hmm. because it's real hard for me to make time. I'm working. Literally twenty four seven, bro. Like how you say, you see, see me at four in the morning. You see me at three in the afternoon going into. Well, I, you had to post I'm about taking a day bro, off today. I had a post. Yeah, I, I had a post. <laughs> That's about true. Taking, but yeah, bro. Because if true. not, people are hitting me. Hey, man, are you working today? You working? Hey, but he said he caught. We caught some five people today. Yeah, hey, so. today about five people hit me. They wanted to work. That's but why I'm we like, ain't you know, charging. Well, sorry about it. That's why sorry, we ain't charging because we understand business. We know the opportunity cost. Okay, so sorry about it. All right, so I'll take a shot for you. Let's do it. All right, so I want to go into our focus on Friday today. Uh, FWM, I, I think you saw we put that out. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite oh, yeah, yeah. songs on there was a fun track. It looks like, did you shoot that in Casa Grande? Uh, you know, I shot that. Yeah, you, you remember I told you I'm from the Boonies. I went all the way to the Boonies. I took the cameraman and some of the homies out there. Reggie, you know Pretty, all the yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah, we took the Pretty out there. there. We had Prada out there. Shout out LSG Prada. We had uh, who else do we have out there? I think we had uh, was Five Zans out there. Uh, Five Zans was not out there, okay. unfortunately. We had um, Forest? Shetty. Was Forrest? Uh, Forrest wasn't out there okay. either. Um. Wow. Few other people that were out there, Matt of Bam course. was Bam out there. Bam was not out there. Man. Damn, you know, y- y- y'all are really like y'all know, huh? Damn, that's the suck. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm Jason bro. Tatum. I'm like, I'm he's, trying to shoot. Like three point shooting, his, but I'm trying. He's shooting though. his money ball. I like right that, right bro. Now. Yeah, I like that. Nah, but we were out there. We I took him to. Um, there's a hotel that you see in there. That's where uh, my mama was working at the time at the hotel as a as a housekeeper. So I was like, you know what, let's domes. just... Yeah, yeah. Girl, the, 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 the hotel, the, yeah, 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 the, the, the Francisco okay. Grande Hotel. That's why it's called yeah. Francisco Grande and those boonies that we... It's not called that, but it's but really... That's it, hotels but that, the but that's what, yeah, so that's what that place is called, the little trader park right across the street. And we, When we were kids, in the summertime, we would sneak into that pool, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And they'd oh. be pissed at security. What are y'all <laughs> doing here? I told you guys not to come. We'd come every other week, you know what I'm saying, just to fuck with them, you know? And it was hot. But, <laughs> yeah, I was going to um, say, Arizona sneaking into a snoop. For real, bro. Especially out there in Castle Grande. Especially out there in those boonies, bro. There's much to do there's a lot of other shit going going on out there i was gonna say in a small town like having like one hotel resort thing i mean that's like it's just it's a it's a it's a main line of the community it's employment it's fun it's everything yep exactly we went out there we did that and then we went to the domes i think the domes are like knocked down now so i heard about that i'm fucking lucky because i I told jared i was like i I recognize those domes it's like it's like a notable arizona staple I, I've have driven past it. Okay, but you guys have never been into no, the domes. No, right? I they don't let you go into the domes. But we were like, when we were like 15, bro, growing up, little Mexican kid out there, we'd go to quinceañeras. If y'all know what a quinceañera is, it gets <laughs> oh, lit. Yeah. Especially when you're young as fuck, 
That's where you go and pick up whatever you got to pick up. You know what I'm saying? That's what it, <laughs> that's what it is out there. You know what I'm saying? Out here, saying, yeah, yeah. Out here I know the store the everyone gets it from at Arizona Mills, too. There's oh, yeah, one yeah, store yeah, yeah. I know exactly Mills. what you're you talking about. You know about? the one I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> more shoulder pads and more poofy shoulders than exactly, that motherfucker than the oh 80s combined. Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but after the quinceañeras, we go over there. Everybody go party over there. One time we were in there, bro, and there was these... It was one girl and three guys... And they were just in there like they were all fucked up. Oh, they were doing a rit- they were doing a ritual, bro. Oh. They were they were I don't know if they were sacrificing something, but that's what that place was known for. Even if you believe or not, the motherfuckers that really do believe in yeah, that stuff, yeah. that shit is real to them. Oh yeah. So they and they were speaking some different language, reading out of a book, bro. There was about thirty of us, come, and they started swinging it at us. Bro, that's, and then everybody started screaming. We all dip what? out. We're like, fuck this shit. You that's know like what I'm saying? It was some weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's some what he was Game saying. of Thrones. He was, like, he was speaking in some foreign language, bro. Stand henceforth, ye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it felt like. For real, bro. I remember that being 15 years old. And then so I went back. I never had gone back after that. Just because, you know, it was no reason for me to be out there. But, you know. <laughs> the, then we, sorry, we, the funny thing is that, you know, that fucking high ass couple went back to their. Yeah. Man, there was an army, man. There was like yeah, a whole army. It's a whole attacking different perspective, me, man. Huh? A whole different perspective, huh? They're just defending the little was, thing that they got going on. I was having a spiritual experience, man. And they're they just having, came in, man. They're all having the best time of their life in there. You know, we're all tripping out with them. I was fuck? about to finger some puss, man. No, just, <laughs> hey, all those three motherfuckers were about to do something. Oh, he was about to, bro. There was one. That bro, was a 30 person combo. That was a 30 person combo. That was 30 person combo. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So, so I definitely had to go back and I, I wanted to go shoot over there. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get all the scenes because the drone wasn't working. But we got a little bit of the scene. But you had thing. some motorcycles. You know, oh, yeah. Out. And then after that, so we shot out there. I took them to, to, to the old country, to, to my old country. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my side of town. And then we came back to Phoenix. Then we shot over there. I think it's called Cortez Park. Uh-huh. Um, I had a homie who was a barber. Um, and he said, hey, man, we get together every uh, every so often here and do motorcycle stuff and whatever. Come over whenever you want, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to shoot a music. Come over here, bro. And then the cameraman was like, hey, bro, you know, we're in someone's hood. I don't know if we're... I'm like, bro, come on, bro. Like, You just got to check in. Bro, hey, you know what hey, He was doing a check in. He was doing a Jared's check in, dude. Let me just do me, all right, bro? You know, if there's any problems, <laughs> blame it on Listen, me, all right? I'll a good attitude and a wad of cash. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the right words yeah, and the good goes and a the, long way in any situation. Not the right every energy, situation. yo. The right energy. Exactly. It's all about energy, exactly. man. That's I'm gonna I'm gonna They'll say this cl- throughout the whole podcast. It's all about the energy that you put in. Okay. If, if people, you could say that auras are fake or whatever. Right, right. You can say that it's right. not something you see. Maybe you don't see it, but you sense it. When right. you know hey, it's I, not. Listen, I, you I'm, I'm right. gonna, go gonna sidetrack real quick. No, all go, right? go for it. When I was living out in Cali for the whole music shit. Yeah. 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 My car broke down. Had a little, old little blue Suzuki. That shit, that hey, shout out to my little Suzuki because that motherfucker <laughs> took me all the way shout everywhere. Out to you Suzuki. know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but anyways, I was in Santa Paula. Santa Paula is right there uh, next to Fillmore in the Ventura County, which is the studio that I was working at. Um, and my car broke down. Um, I have an aunt out there. I'm not really close to none of my family like that. You know, they're they're more over here on the in America, and I'm really close to my Mexican, like from Mexico I got side. A big you know family what I'm saying? And, and you people think big families are automatically close, and right. and hey, sometimes they are, sometimes no, they and aren't. sometimes they're sometimes not. Sometimes half of them are, yeah, half of them facts, aren't. It's bro, just, yeah. Like, I didn't, I didn't, grow, I didn't grow up with them. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But we're blood. You know what I'm saying? We're blood. So she's like, hey, come over here to my office while your car is getting fixed. Um, and then I'll take you after. I'm like, all right, bet. I got my laptop with me because I'm working off my laptop from Crash. Shout out to Crash for giving me the laptop. I mean, actually, it comes with tuition. So, <laughs> yeah, so you for it. You, inherit, you inherited it. Yeah, 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 they're yeah, like, right? hey, pay us 90 grand a year. And they're like, <laughs> right, hey, you get a free yeah, get a laptop. laptop. <laughs> like, you oh, go. shit. And plugins there. Yeah, you'll be, I could have bought an M5 for money, that laptop. But it's true, though. That, that money comes back oh, yeah. with that little... They told me that the money's going to come back with this. I'm like, no, it ain't. Boom, money came back, baby. But back to the little story, bro. So I'm walking down the street. It's a little town, you know what I'm saying? It's a little old town. I see this guy that looks like an Indian dude from India. I look like I'm Hindu. from India. He looked like a Hindu, bro, right? <laughs> bro looked exactly like me. I didn't wear glasses at the time. I, I started wearing glasses at the beginning of like this year. But uh, he was wearing glasses, wearing the whole suit. He looked like the Mormon people or the people that be going around and mm. doing their, uh, what's it called when they go and do their uh, like mission? The, the, the mission. mission. Yeah, yeah, they do the, the, the their mission. So bro was out there, right? He's got a suitcase. He's on the other side of the road. I'm on this side. I'm just walking on the sidewalk. He does a little Yui. He go ahead and he's behind me. I'm talking with Hippie Matt on my headphone right here on the with the AirPod or whatever, walking. Bro goes next to me, 
He, I'm like, I'll call you back, Matt, because bro started talking. He's like, hey, brother, where are you from? He's got the Indian accent from India. He's like, where are you from? And I'm like, I'm from Arizona, bro. What's up? He's like, oh, what are you doing out here? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm just I'm just making music and stuff. You know? In Arizona, what are you doing out here? Yeah, well, no, no, no. He's like, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm from, he, yeah, 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 I yeah. what you said. Yeah. He's like, where are you from? I'm from Arizona. He's like, what are you doing out here in Cali? And I'm like, uh, I'm just trying to, you know, make it in the music. He's like, he's like, you're not getting paid enough for what you're doing. I'm not getting paid anything. I'm intern. You know, he's like, you're not getting paid enough to what you're doing, bro. He's like, your heart's in the right place, but he's like, you want me to see show you what your mind looks like? And I'm like, what the fuck? Blows blowing my mind already. I'm like, what the fuck? He pay, takes out a piece of paper and he scribbles on it, bunch of scribbles. He's like, hey man, your heart is in the right place. It knows what it wants, but your mind looks like this, bro. And he showed me what my mind looked like. It was a bunch of scribbles. And he was right, bro. Because I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. But I'm like, damn, how do I get paid for this? Or how do I get to the next level? So he's like, man, he starts talking to me in Spanish all of a sudden. He's like, hey, man. He's like, sabes que la mano se lee como la cara? And I'm like, I know that means that the palm could be read like your face. Or that the, yeah, your face could be read like your palm. But I didn't know that. I told him. So he's like, oh, yeah, man. He's like, you want me to read your palm? And I'm like. Let's do it. <laughs> Fuck it. Because a lot of people are scared of that. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, They're yeah, like, oh, yeah. that's voodoo. That's this now. I'm like, let's see what's up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right. But he's like, let, let me take, we got to go to this little alley or whatever where there's not a bunch of energy. Step and into shit. my office. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, I'm like, what the fuck? This fool's trying to trick me or something. Like, yeah. he's about my so I could take this motherfucker. He's like, like hey, ignore the guns and brass hey, knuckles right? on the hey, wall. Yeah. That cage over there that's human size? No. Uh, so he, took, he, he, he did the little thing. He, he's like, put this in your hand. He put a little piece of paper in my hand. And I brought this up because you're talking about auras that you can't really see them sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So bro is like, here, put this paper in your hand. And then. Tell me what your favorite color is. And I'm like, black. And he's like, nah, black is not a color. And then white is <laughs> yeah. all the colors. He's like, try again. Yeah. <laughs> he asked you the most, the most, literally the most subjective question right, right. on planet Earth. Like, like, what's your favorite yeah. color? There's yeah. no wrong answer. Right, right. That wall could be right. my favorite exactly. color. He's like, nah, so, bro, try again. Dude. <laughs> he's like, nah, black's not a color. <laughs> try magenta, like, my yeah. brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, keep going. He's like, yeah, he's like, nah, that's not a color. And white's not a color. Like, one's. Okay. You that gotta, makes sense. One's all mixed. Yeah. yeah. So one's he, it all split out out and ones that like, all mixed together yeah, exactly so i'm like all right bet. i'm like shit blue and he's like open up your hand open up my hand he's like just so you know i'm not fucking with you look that's the color of your aura right there he said it's blue and in my head i'm like what the fuck i'm like what the hell like i, I i'm not the smartest motherfucker in the world but I'm, I'm i'm holding a blue backpack so the first thing in my mind as i'm thinking right there because i'm thinking quick i'm like how do i combat this he's like i'm like is he did he say Blue because my fucking shit's blue and that's the yeah. first color that my He's David my, Blaine my, my, street my magician shit. is thinking yes. that you know what I'm saying so I'm trying I'm, I'm like going against this dude I'm like all right yeah. bet whatever he's like yeah bro Crusade. he's like yeah. he's like yeah your 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 color's blue bro um he's like um he's like here's three things that are coming to you bro he, and he's all like there's gonna be money coming to you there's gonna be love coming to you and there's gonna and he's like oh and I see a number he's like it might be like when you pass away or something but. It mm -hmm. says it says six five sixty five, no. and I'm like, that's what's up. He's like, but don't be scared, bro. But when he's t have you guys ever tried magic mushrooms? Have you guys ever tried mush? We may uh, my we legal may have declined yeah. comment on such. Oh, that's may, cool. You know, that's we cool. may have that's dabbled cool. in the past. That's cool. Yeah. Even if you guys have, I think it's one a, time I was at Whole Foods. I was right next to the shiitakes. I was looking for some some pepperoni. You know what I mean? And good mushrooms, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, it just he the way he was talking to me, bro. It was opening up my mind in a different way where you ever heard of the pineal gland that shit was getting stimulated and i could feel it my world was reality wasn't real anymore when he was he opened my, up my mind to a whole new thing where after that i mean i'd be smoking butt all the time i'd be drinking every now and then but after that i didn't need to smoke i didn't need to drink i didn't need any enhancement for my brain i was cleansed this guy just came in here and told me this stuff bro now he, uh, with that being said, that was on a Tuesday, right? This was like in April on a Tuesday. Bro, uh, I told bro, hey, man, this Thursday I'm going out to Arizona. I'm going to do the show where, remember how I told you we went out and we won the competition okay. for Respect yeah. the Underground? Yeah. So this was before it happened. I told him, hey, man, uh, we're going to have this competition. We win this much money and we go to all these cities. So the respect the money. Yep. Thing. And then oh, he's shit. like, bro, he's like, here, I'm going to give you this little brace. I'm just going to give you this little, uh, it was like a charm, you know? It was like a blessed charm. He gave it to me. He had me put it on my little... Uh, wristband or whatever that I had on. He's like, take this, go perform with that, go do your thing. You're going to win the competition. Once you win the competition, you come back and you talk to me again and I'm going to give you more information on how to crack pretty much the fucking Matrix type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. It's a you desert know saying, sage, right? dude. This is like a, a, a burning bush almost. Bro, <laughs> bro, talk, bro. Hey, no, and it's it gets a, crazier. A it gets crazier. It gets crazier. So did that. Now I come back. 
We do the competition. I'm in full energy. I'm talking to everybody with so much confidence. I could talk to the most beautiful girl in the, in the room, and I'm not even like trying to get at her. I'm just like putting her on game. Like, girl, you could do anything you want in life. Type <laughs> put shit. a few Halle you Berries know, on hey, game. Hey, hey, <laughs> no cap, baby. You know what I'm saying? Because because motherfuckers ain't be doing that shit. Motherfuckers are just trying to get something out of something, and you know whatever. That's all. Whatever, you know? Doozy was but, ahead of his time coming with future. Hey, that OnlyFans isn't the way. She said, only what? He goes, you'll know when the time comes. You'll know. It's not the way. Right. Um, but Lil yeah. Aiden will thank you later. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we go and we do the competition. You know, shout out Justice. You know what I'm saying? They had a whole crowd thing. It was the whole eight mile fucking, the crowd chooses who wins. And we fucking won, right? So we won the competition. The applause meter Right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's literally what it yeah, was, bro. Yeah, like, exactly. Hey. And it was it's like some guy fear thing. looking white guy with a Bro. microphone who's the applause meter. Yeah, it was <laughs> literally me living my childhood dreams when I was watching Eight Mile as a little kid. Oh, dude, you know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's just I this... saw Eight Mile five times in, in the movie theater. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. that's that's that. Drew up, knows. Right? Drew was there for two of those at least. So. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Hey, that's what's up, Drew. Um, so Brittany Murphy, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, um, so. All right, so so where, you're, you're, where we so did the competition, getting, yeah, yep. competition, and, and then the next day I'm like, yo, my mom, my mom. Remember, I told her she used to work housekeeper, but she ended up being uh, become, or she's in the works of becoming a Reiki master. Oh hell so yeah! So what she does okay. is she cleans oh, Reiki. I know she all cleans about the, the Reiki. My girl gets Reiki. That's done. what's up, bro. My, my, my mom, done. my mom does the Reiki. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. So I'm like, hey guys, half of the guys don't speak any Spanish, but it's Spanish workshops that they do over there. So I'm like, let's go see what they do. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm feeling real clean, you know. So I'm like, let, let let's go, let's go give this more power. I get there. There's more like-minded people right there. I brought the whole team. Uh, we all walk in a line. We look like a freaking super group, right? And we just won the competition. We're on top of the world, right? And then, and then uh, some lady comes up to us. She's she's an older lady, and she's like, "Hey, I'm an indigo child." She says, "She's like, I can see you guys." She's like, and she's telling me in Spanish. She's like, "Yeah." She's like, "I'm an indigo child. It's like a set of people that come to s save the world or whatever, or make the world a better place." She's like, you guys are crystal babies. You guys are the next generation after us. You guys are here to save the world, she said. That's some crazy shit to get told, yeah, right? Like some yeah. like some older people telling you, hey, you're here to save the world. Like, I can see you. And I'm like, oh, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? My mind's opening up again. My freaking gland is getting stimulated. My, my pineal gland is getting stimulated, <laughs> right? Because I understand what it is, you know? And I'm like, okay. And she's like, you know, I could read your, your aura. But she told me in Spanish and I couldn't really translate. I, I know what she was saying, but it, it was translating to something else. And Matt's like, bro, she's, seeing, she's saying she could read your aura in Spanish. And I'm like, for real? She's like, yeah, yours is... Azul. Azul. Like, she, she, she didn't know this other guy. She never met the. This is a whole different city. And, a whole and different. Can, this, and can I ask really quick? You said he was Indian. Is he Native American? No, he's Indian from so India. So you're talking about because you said he spoke Spanish. Yeah, you said he, yeah, spoke, he Spanish. spoke Spanish. To me, okay, bro. that's he, what he, I was gonna say. He was I know temples, you would have said native. Yeah, no, no, he was. He, he, he was Indian he was from India. Asian Indian. No, yeah, yeah, from India. Spoke Spanish. Spoke to you. Spanish to me. And for some crazy reason. And this and I told you your aura was blue. It's God, bro. At That's the end crazy. of the day, it's God talking to me. I'm like, oh my God, something's trying to communicate. Why do two different people in two different states on in the same week have just told me that the color of my aura is blue? So I know that there's people out there that can see that. You know, there's yeah. uh, there's people out there that can see you for mm -hmm. who you truly mm -hmm. are. And there's people in the elites, you know, that know that, mm -hmm. that control everything in the world because they know that. They're tapped into that. We're so like shut down from like stuff like that. That we don't understand it, you know? But people yeah. see that and, and people see auras and, and all that stuff is real. That to me means God's real. It might not be a person up there with the beard or whatever people believe in, but it's energy, you know? It. People could feel you, bro. People yeah. could feel you. We're not here by accident. Bro. I'm sorry. We, you we you are a God. If you're looking at this right now, just yeah. remember, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you are a goddess. You are a God, all right? Unlock that, all right? Don't be so distracted with so many things that go on in this crazy ass world. Focus on you and make this world a better place by being a better person if you can. You know what I'm saying? Because some people, it's hard for that, you know? But yeah. try to be a good person because God is real, man. Like, it, it might not, I'm not religious, you know? But, but it. that yeah. energy is real, bro. And you can feel it. So I appreciate you guys acknowledging that when you told me that earlier. Hey, man, I, I, I can feel your aura, bro. You yeah, told 100%, me. And, and you too, bro. 100%, I appreciate that. You, you guys are good people, man. So I appreciate you. All this is a blessing to me. I'm blessed to even be here doing this, bro. Who the fuck am I? <laughs> I know, does, you know what, though, Didi, yeah. you keep talking about it, man, and the quote that keeps coming to my mind, we've said it before here, is the harder I work, the luckier I get. That's, that's your, yeah. that's just, that's Real you. Talk, that's yeah. the name of the episode. Like, Ooh, yeah, it is. That's I the name of the episode. Harder I work, the luckier I get. Because it and is. It's just facts. like, you, from the second you started telling us your story, it's just like, again, it, and, and 
it's not like this is the only thing that makes you successful, but like the reason that you're successful at this point in your life to me is like, you just, from a kid, you were like, you would see a situation instead of being like, huh, well, that's pretty freaking cool. And then on to the next thing, you were like, okay, huh, that's cool, that interests me. Is there something you would like to do?